Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video three in our Dreamatorium series. Um, we're going to be moving right along. We're going to be doing pages four, five, and six, but I'll tell you right now, five is pretty much done. No problem. Um, so on page four, we're going to need all of these things here. And here's my paper. Come here, paper. And it's been inked. My stupid paper clip box keeps moving. Anyway, must be the gremlins. So what we're going to do, this is an envelope. I found some check envelopes that I had that... Um, didn't have uh, the, the lining, the security lining in them. So I thought, that's great. So what I'm going to do is um, I printed on both sides of it. Okay. And I just realized one side's upside down. Huh. One man's right side up is another man's upside down. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're going to cut it in half and we're going to put each half on here as a pocket. Now we're going to have to do some extra gluing because once we cut it in half the top will be open and so we'll need to glue that shut and as of right now um, this part is open and we don't want it to be open because we're going to cut this end for the pocket. Okay so let's go ahead and you know if we glue this shut now it'll probably be easier. See if I can keep that under control. Okay. I just don't know where to put everything. All right. Oh, we were going to glue it first. So let's glue it together. that stupid song Aquarius stuck in my head you know when the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter lines with Mars do not ask me why but it's just stuck in my head and now it's stuck in your head so it will leave me alone huh. all right so this is a six and three quarters envelope so it's called a number six and three quarters in case you're wondering what size it is I got them on either Amazon or I got them at Dollar Tree, one of the two, Amazon, because there's too many in the box to it for it to be a Dollar Tree box. They don't have ones with 65 envelopes in a box. Those are a lot less. Um, so, six and three quarters. Half of three quarters is three-eighths. Three quarters is six eighths, so half is three eighths. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so it's going to be three and three eighths. Should be half. Da 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 da! She did math in her head. Yay! And the crowd roars. One, two, three, and three eighths. Three eighths. Three eighths. And it actually doesn't matter if one's a little bit bigger than the other. And in fact, they don't want to cut that off of that. So I'm going to move it over just a little bit. They're still sticky on the envelope. So let's just go with the pictures as guide. Let's just cut it right where the pictures are in the middle. That's what I've decided to do. So now this is going to end up being a flap this way, and this will be a flap this way. Wait a minute. This will be a flap this way. Now we need to do some more gluing and some cutting and some re-inking. 
So what we need to do now is, um, oh, I forgot, we already glued that. All right, so let's just trim these just a skosh so that we have an opening for cards. And I mean just a little teeny bit is all you need. Oh, that just figures. The glue must still be damp. And I had a pair of these scissors, and I loved them. And then I talked myself into getting the titanium ones after my friend Cassie at Junkin 101 with Cassie. Um, <laughs> got hers, and I think I was, I think I had a little bit of um, scissor envy. So I got the titanium ones too. They're a hundred times stronger than steel. Alright, so we are going to have to do some gluing. I saw something come apart here somewhere. How do you get in the envelope? Oh, here it is. That's glued shut. One of the sides came open. That's what it was. From when we cut it in half. So now we, we don't want to get this too far in. Too far in the glue. Because then it will make our pocket narrower. So we want to get as close to the edge. as we can manage. Okay. Now, one side of this should be cut open too. So I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, now, is that right? Yeah, that's the sticky side. There we go. Now we got it. Except they need to go this way. So you can see the pattern will continue. Do you see what I mean? The Because we cut it in half. Alright. Put that down there. Put this here. I think that looks pretty good. They would go over a little bit further. Hmm. Okay. That's all right. So now we're going to glue this one on. And then we'll be done. No, I'm kidding. This one is pretty simple. We're not going to do some super fancy um, page on every page because... I'm a little behind on my YouTube watching to get ideas for pages. I do come up with quite a few of my own. This is one that I thought of on my own. Um, but it never hurts to get experience by watching others. If I do a page that was inspired by a certain person and I remember who it is, I will give them credit. I think that's only fair. Now, do we want them that far apart? So we can move that top one down a little bit.
because it looked like it was pushed up too far. And I forgot to ink them. I went yesterday. Well, I didn't go yesterday, but I went on Amazon and I ordered the big one of this because I like it so much. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using it a lot. Oh, I did. I inked them before I printed on them. I just need to ink where we cut ends off. I knew something just didn't look right. And where we cut them in half. We could have done it before we glued them on the paper. But, um, you know, in the half right there. But we still wouldn't have been able to um, glue that one part until we had um, glued the other side together where it had come apart when we cut the ends off. Okay. And we're going to decorate these with some stuff once we get um, an idea of where the pages are going to go in the book. Um, this is a left-hand page. And so, like I said before, I've been writing it on the back, video three, page four, left, but I've also got it on this note. So that when I'm doing the walkthrough and everything, or the flip through and everything, I'll know what's what. Okay, drink a pop here. This kind of cries out for a butterfly. But I haven't put my glossy accents. In fact, I'm going to use crackle accents and see what that looks like on one butterfly. And if it turns out really cool, because this dries clear. But then it kind of looks cracked, like my voice just did. <laughs> yep, that was me. All right, we're going to open these up. Printing on the envelopes makes them nice and thin, too. We're going to put this, I don't need that just quite yet. We're going to put this, I'm going to put it here. Yeah, because we don't want to take a chance on it making the envelope stick up. Now the card that I cut out that came with the kit that comes for this, if you put it down inside the little gusset things there, look how far down that card goes. I don't think even a tab would help that. So I'm either going to back it on another piece, a little bit bigger piece, plus my brother's scan and cut took a chunk out of it right there. <laughs> so I'm going to have to trim it a little bit on the bottom I'm just going to make it even shorter so for now um, we're just going to um, find some ephemera to put in there and then I'll do something with that or maybe nothing maybe I'll just take that off and take it off and use it as a belly band hey Wow, the numbers go this way. It looks like that's upside down, doesn't it? Okay, so let me let me take a look at this because then it would match the pocket. That is plenty big enough. Do I like what it looks like? Hmm. Let's put our big pocket here. I may end up cutting the flaps off and just putting it down tight because that's just going to poof everything up. It's going to poof everything up. And I want to put it there. I can always print out another one if I decide that I didn't really like that being flat. 
So I'm just cutting off the folded under parts. And you can see where to cut because it's right along where you inked. I know these scissors are sharp. I'm glad these are not the ones I snipped the corner of the tip of my finger off with. It would have been even worse. Yes, I did that. I'm such a spaz. I was cutting the handle on a case pop. Cut the handle and then you pull it open. And um, I didn't realize I was holding it with my hand in such a way. I still can't figure out how I did it. It must have had my pinky out or something, but I cut like this with my scissors and I took a big v-shaped chunk right out of my finger and I didn't even realize it because I I don't have feeling or very much in my feelings or, or my feet and my fingers are my feet so I didn't really even notice right away until there was blood everywhere <laughs> I mean everywhere and uh, so that kind of stuff doesn't bother me, so it's not like I fainted or anything. I just grabbed a paper towel and went to the bathroom, and then I saw how big it was, and I was like, well, I don't have any super glue, so I'm going to clean it out and put some peroxide in it, and yada, 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 and then um, I'm just going to wrap it up really tight with a Band-Aid. <laughs> that was my sound medical advice to myself. Yeah, see, that lays better, and it looks better. Um, however, we're going to put it like this. No, we're not. See, that's the disadvantage of it of printing on the envelope. You don't have any weight behind it. Okay, let's put this on. And so we're going to glue on three sides to make it a pocket. Wasn't very much glue coming out that first time around. This probably dried and it was crooked. Nope, not yet. It's hard to tell with all the scrollies and things. Okay, so now we're going to take these and we're going to take a belly band and I didn't change the color of those and the reason I printed them instead of covering them is they were white. So we didn't even have the tan or cream color to work with. All we had was white. So um, I started inking the edge and I thought, well, if I ink it really well, when we paper it, then you won't ever see any of the white. And then I thought, yeah, I don't know about that. So I'm debating on whether putting thumb holes in these. I really don't want to cut in the picture right there. Um, so I think I'll put cards in that stick out. But first, but first, we have to make a belly band that's going to go across, have a magnet on it to close, hold these shut. That's my brilliant idea. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, so what I did was I measured. I'm just going to take it across from here, measure from there. And we've got our bicycle here and our train. And we've got our blue and tan tying into each other. And then, of course, we'll come back and um, do some embellishing. Okay, 
poor elephant. Elephant eyes. Look how that cut that out, though. We already used it on that other page. Okay, so we're going to put it here. And then we just need a half an inch from the end. So let's mark this here. And then we're going to need to add on a half an inch from there. Well, that's not going to work. And put that there. And then move it over a half. That should be right. They don't necessarily want it to go all the way. I just want it to hold these panels shut. I was like, what is that lump? All right, so let's score it right in front of his little, what is that called? And scoop the cow knocker off the, <laughs> the rail thingy. Ah, oh, cow catcher. Ah, it is a cow. I totally was joking. But that is what it be. Okay, I'm going to line the very tippity tip of the train up with the line and then we're going to score it. Then I'm going to want to glue this on like this. Oh, that made it go all the way across. Well, all right. Let's get it inked. Keep trying to stamp the lid. I went ahead and did page five, and you'll see why in a minute. And we'll do more to it later. So, I'm having fun doing this one so far, even though I have so much ephemera and stuff sitting in front of me that I'm kind of panicked about the whole thing. And, um, I just, I'm going to have to sort it. I can't just, you know, rifle through a box of stuff and find what I want. I need to have things grouped together so when I go to look for them I know where they are. So now the question is I'm not sure what the question is. Let's glue this. And you use the crackle accents just like you do the um, glossy accents. You just smear it around on top of whatever you want to uh, have that clear, hard, glossy shell. And then this one will put a little bit of crazing on it and um, makes it look old. So I think we're going to try that on a couple of our butterflies. Let's see if we can get this in the middle.
Now we're going to glue a magnet on here. Did I miss a side inking? Okay. We're going to put something back here. Well, first we're going to put the magnet on, then we're going to cover the magnet. And then I was thinking we might put a tuck or something back here with uh, one of our scraps. Maybe we'll do it with this since it's all torn up and whatever. Maybe we'll do it with this magnet. like eight magnets left. Definitely not enough to finish this project. Okay, so let's put it in the center up a little bit. Put the corresponding one on back back of the page. I like that train. When I first picked that paper, it was because of the colors, and then I realized that I could cut it in such a way that the train would be on there, and I was like, "Well, heck yeah." Except I'm I'm sorry to say my language wasn't quite as polite as heck yeah. Okay, so now when we open this, we need to cover this magnet, so we'll cover it with this. And then we could put a smaller pocket here. No, I don't like that at all now. Hmm. If I made this into a pocket, it would cover the magnet if I moved it down just a little bit. Hmm. Or actually, if I just move the paper the other way so that it's going left and right and not up and down. Now let's double check our positioning on our magnet on the back. So what do you guys think? Think a pocket or the cog and, and, a, and a tuck with a piece of ephemera. Let's trim this mess off of here that my scanning cut made of it. Had a border around it, but these little stripes got really close to the border and scan and cut couldn't tell that they were not indents so it went do 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 <laughs> all the way across the bottom and yes that's what it sounded like too and I'm not going to say it again no matter how many times you say and it did what Way. 
I don't know. So if we did that, then we would need this again. Maybe it's this that's ruining it. Can I move the magnet? No. We can put it like that. Okay, I think I'll just do it do the pocket. Set that right up here. Goodness. Too much stuff going on. Now I know. Oh, it's on this side. I was saying, I know I drew it on there. So I drew it on there pretty good. fits. Okay. This media grip really works. Hold things down for you. You can, I have a, another piece this size and then another whole sheet. And I don't know where the other strip went. They had two full pieces that were rolled up in boxes. That's all they come in a little tube. And um, you just cut them up. You can always set them right next to each other again if you need. But um, I think I might make this make one a little bit bigger than this um, lengthwise, I think, because I don't have enough room to keep this on here to keep it from rolling and etc etc woe is me yeah I thought this color of coffee dyed paper print you know um, picture uh, would look really good against the colors of this um, kit but um I think I like the other one better. I like this one better. And it's not white. It kind of looks white, but it's off white over here. Yeah, see, we've got some things we can put on there. I'm going to get out my die and I'm going to die cut out some of these um, gears and such so that we can put them on here without um, having to put the metal ones on on something that flips shut like that. Okay, so this page is done. Um, we need to make a card for here, one for here, one for here, and one for here. So I'm going to do that off camera. We've, we've made enough of these already that you know how to do it. Now what happened? I know. Pocket's too close. There we go. And pocket goes past a little bit. I was like, where did that color come from? So, we're going to call this page done, but not done. I'm going to come back and do all the cards. But it's done for this video. So I don't think you need to sit there and watch me make five cards. Um, 
Oh, I wanted to show you something about one of these other pages. I think I made all the cards or something. And there was something I wanted to show you. I showed you that. I already saw that. Oh, I put all the cards in on this one. So this was page three in video two. And it flips up, remember? So I put the card in here. Looks spiffy. I put the little tag in here. I got the card that goes in here. Probably going to make a different one. I don't know why I made it so short. Um, yeah, I could easily add a, um, a longer one on there. It just looks kind of weird like that. I'm not really sure why I cut it off. Anyway, and then um, when it opens up this way, I have my side tuck with a card and I put a pocket on this and made a little belly band right here out of this little thing and then when you pull this out then there's the octopus and you can actually write on there if you want. So I, that's what I wanted to show you. So I do make the cards afterwards like I say I'm going to. I do my homework. I'm a good girl. <laughs> So that's what I'll be doing, something similar, when we get done with this video. Um, also, I've decided to put one of these in each signature. There's going to be three. I'll get one more if I decide to do four. But um, each one of these is not a person. Okay, and there's one more, and that's page five, which is coming up. So that's why I wanted to show you the reason I had selected it. They're cool, and there's no reason we can't just put one in as a page. And um, so that's what we're going to do. Three. Yes, I just said three to the dog. Started out one, two, three, time out like a kid. Then I realized when I did that, um, then he knew he had chances, right? So what I did was I uh, just started going straight for three. It's kind of funny. Okay, so this is one of those images or image pages. So what I've done is I've added three charms. Each one gets bigger than the next. Okay. Until you get to the big one at the bottom, they're attached with bulb pins, so you just pin them on like you would a regular pin. They're just bigger at the bottom. I think they're for quilting or something. Um, and then, for some reason, I thought his neck needed some neck bling. Right there. And we'll come back and I'll show you um, the progress on doing stuff to this page, or maybe I'll do some stuff... Um, on camera with you, I would love to put a key here where his um, little key to turn him on is and I would like to put a gear here in this in this hole that shows the gears inside but I would rather they're not touching or anything so how can they possibly be doing anything so I would rather put one right here did sort these. Here's all the clocks. Here's all the keys. Here's all the gears. So see that one fits perfectly. That looks pretty cool. I definitely don't want this shiny gold one. But there's all kinds of different ones. So you can just decide which one you like. That one's a little big. That one fits, but it's kind of plain. I like the color of this one and everything. I'm not going to keep digging. I'm going to try Fabri-Tac on that. That'll be our little experiment to see if it stays stuck. We'll have to wait and see the jury's out on this one. I also have some um, E6000, some generic, so I guess I shouldn't call it that. 
I have some all-in-one all glue that will glue anything. Um, but I'm not sure that it works on paper. Okay, that looks cool. I wonder, I'm just gonna let that dry. I don't wanna mess with it anymore. And see, these will all hang out of the uh, book. They're not exactly evenly spaced, but you know what, it's handmade. So that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I'm gonna set that page aside. We've got this one done except for the pockets. And this one here is going to be uh, pretty easy too. Um, I think, therefore I am, I think that we're going to cover the top hat up. We're going to make three pockets, just tiered pockets. The back one will be long and go all the way down. The next one will go from the top of it all the way down. The bottom one will be glued at the bottom and be that size pocket, and then it'll need three cards. So let's get going. So I've already inked this with the brown. Now we need to not pockets. These are the papers that I've decided do not scream clash to me. Um, I want to put this one on the bottom because I thought it would be fun to put gears on it. So that will be our experiment with that uh, multi-purpose glue and see if it works. It's kind of a marine glue so you think if it would work underwater Oh, we already know this is five and three eighths, don't we? So let's go. Yeah, five will be okay. Would it just covers up the United Kingdom, but we all know where London is. So five and three eighths wide. And five inches tall. So that's going to be our first pocket. My voice is really cracking today. Sorry. Okay, then the this pocket is too wide because the pocket is crooked. glue it on. To 
just on two sides. Otherwise, our pocket will stop right there. I didn't ink it. You guys let me do it too. Let me cut it out and forget to ink it. What kind of friends are you guys anyway? I just get like a bet going, a pool going to see if I can go all the way through a video without going, oh, I forgot to ink that and having to pull it off. Is that it? You guys have a bet going? Where was the blue? Oh, just down either side. Well, somebody won. <laughs> at the races. Somebody wins and somebody loses. I'm sorry about the top of my head. You probably got a nice view of my gray hair. I'm going to tell you guys a secret and you don't tell anybody. You want to see, you want to hear a secret? In 10 days, no, in two weeks, it will be my birthday on August 3rd, because I'm filming this in August, um, I mean July, and I will be 60 years old. I can't believe it. I thought it wasn't possible. it was impossible in my brain I'm like 35 my body's different you know chronic illnesses and all but um yeah so this one's five so we're gonna make this one um three and three quarters no we're gonna have one more on there so let's go four and then the bottom one will be three okay so we want it to be five and three eighths wide. And what did I say? Four inches tall. Getting some scraps now. I was worried about our lack of scraps to pull from. Okay. Now this one is a little wonky as well. What is with that? I'm going to have to call Fiskers and make them send me a new paper trimmer. much better yep and even I even eyeballed it and it worked this one's just going to be glued on the sides then we're going to need three writing cards for this
and then whatever we decide to do to add, you know, additional decoration. I think there's a pair of glasses. If there, if not, I will um, make these blue, this turquoise blue color. Once again, you guys are just getting a big kick out of this, aren't you? <laughs> I know you are. Yep, I, def I definitely think it's you guys messing around with me. Definitely. It, it isn't directional, but I just like that way better. <laughs> I don't know why. She swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Okay, so now at this point, you have a pocket from here that goes all the way down. You have one from here that goes all the way down. Comes all the way out. We haven't uh, put the bottom on yet. And then th this one is going to be 5 and 3 eighths wide. Page five. Where'd it go? Two, three. Where did I put the ones I just completed? Oh, there's four. Where's the other one with the charms on it? Wow. Okay. All right. I can see the game that this is going to play. No, it is not. It's not here. Okay. I'll have to look around for the charms and not give away the page. Where did it go? I do not know. This is six. This is four. Page five was the one with the charms on it. Okay, this is going to be five and three eighths by three. Oh, that's just too bizarre. I, I can't believe it was just right here. And now it's gone. It's not on the floor. <sighs> I mean, if something had just happened to it and I could have recovered the bulb pin and the charms, that would have been fine. I mean, that wouldn't have made me super happy, but it's better than losing the whole page, don't you think? By three. Could go three and a half. 
I remember saying four. Yeah, four or five. I go three and a half. We could put a tuck on if we want. Oh no, that doesn't look right. Nope, I have to take another half inch off. Now this pocket, after I ink it, <laughs> will be glued on all three sides, not just, um, there's the brown, okay you guys, this is not funny, <laughs> okay it is funny, but I would really like to know where that page went. Oh, I know where it is. Do you guys know where it is? I set it behind me to dry. <laughs> oh. We'll have to check on it and uh, see because I wanted to, you know, put some gears on here. And, and maybe some eyeglasses if I have any of that. So let's glue this on. We're running at an hour, but I'm going to go just a little bit over. Why is that always coming out an eighth of an inch wide? Is this page narrower by a little bit? It has to be. Yeah, the only thing about this color is on this brown, the edges are the bright color. They may not look very bright on camera, but they are. Um, but when you go in a little bit, the brown kind of overtakes it and it kind of turns muddy. You know, when you get mud brown, no matter when you think you're mixing blue and red, you should get purple. You have to uh, mix the warm blue with the warm red to get the purple. You can't mix a cool blue with a warm red and expect to get anything other than mud. So now all you have to do is figure out which ones are the cool colors, which one are the cold ones. There's a color chart that has, instead of just this one and then another one and then another one and then the 3 o'clock one, um, it has one one, like let's say red, and it has the red violet, and it has the uh, red blue, um, and then it goes on. It's really interesting. I like I like that um, that one a lot better than the regular one that I have. I first saw it at um, Ginger Cook um, has a painting. And her, her daughter, Cinnamon, does as well. She does this um, big art quest every year. And you do a picture a day, paint a picture a day for 30 days for April. So that's pretty fun. Now. Okay, now we've got that. And let's see how this is doing. Well, it seems okay. Probably is still a little damp. It seems like it's going to stay. Well, that's cool. 
All right, so I'm gonna still going to do a little bit more on here, and I need all the cards for that. We need cards for this. And then I'm just going to go through and, and pick random ones. I, I don't think I want that little thick one. And pick different ones that maybe fit the sizes. And um, stick them on. Three or four. I'm not sure how many. Three or four. Three or four. Yeah, I need a bigger one than that. That's obviously a charm, so I'm not going to... Anyway, I'm going to go through my um, charms and gears and stuff here. And um, put them on the page. And then I'll do the cards, too. So that you guys don't have to watch me do that. Okay? Well, we're running over, so that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video, and that will be just a second for you and a day for me. This is what we got done, okay? All right. Bye-bye.